Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share a work from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new discussion. Hi, I'm Helen, a docent at the Art Museum. I'm fascinated by ancient burial customs. If you are too, let's explore the burial customs of ancient China with three tomb figures from two dynasties across eight centuries. In Gallery 141, you can see these charming sculptures of women servants. They were placed in tombs around the coffins of royal and wealthy Chinese. We'll start with the oldest figure of a kneeling woman from the Han Dynasty over 2,000 years ago. During the Han Dynasty, people believed that after death, the human soul would separate into two distinct entities, the Hun, which would ascend to heaven, and the Po, which, if provided adequately, would dwell for eternity in the tomb. Han tomb furnishings, literally called spirit objects, provided comfort for the Po here on earth and cosmic imagery to guide the Hun successfully to heaven. The servant's expression is serene, comforting for the deceased. Her hair ornament is a buyo, translated as swinging step, a special type of hairpin. It was constructed so that its stringed beads would gently sway and jingle as she moved. Normally, the ornament stood away from the face, but perhaps this figure accidentally toppled forward, pressing the buyo against her forehead. Her right hand, now missing, was probably wood and held a tray, perhaps with food offerings. Did our deceased have a sweet tooth? Her left hand, fully visible, lays gently against her robe. 800 years later in Tang Dynasty, 6th to 9th centuries, aristocratic tombs were furnished with hundreds of minki, representing guardians, warriors, court dignitaries, beauties, entertainers, and servants. These figures played an important role in funerary rituals. They were displayed on carts during the procession to the burial site, then were lined up outside the tomb to form a spirit path for the coffin. Later placed in the tomb, they would provide for the needs of the deceased and enhance his or her social status in the afterlife. This servant hides her hands in her sleeves as she bows her head in respect. She's ready to serve or perhaps entertain the deceased. A rather large hood covers her head and a soft shawl is draped around her shoulders. The second servant looks forward, holding a vase and offering to the deceased. Her hair is piled high in two chignons and a touch of red paint outlines her lips. Look closely at the servant's dresses. It's a foreign style with its high-waisted, tight-fitting bodice. It emphasizes their slenderness and was the standard of elegance from the late 6th into the 8th centuries. These fashions helped expert date the two tomb figures. By the mid-8th century, fashions had changed. Fuller figures, upswept hair framing the face, and loose, gauzy clothing now defined ideal beauty. Our three cam tomb figures are a quick peek at ancient Chinese burial customs across centuries. They're also a fun look at court women's fashions. Where else in the museum can you find tomb figures? What cultures created them? What functions did they serve in the afterlife? Hint, check galleries 101 and 102, where you will find Egyptian tomb figures that serve the deceased in the afterlife. Have fun.